Hi, it's your boy AJ back with another freaking video and today I'm here with another baddies review. Now let me tell you something. Uh, child, I reviewed last week like I literally reviewed it in my room. That's how tired I was of the show and I barely made it this week, okay? And I had to break the episode down in three different days. Girl, it took me three days to get through the episode. It is now Tuesday, 6.01 p.m. Um, I just got finished watching. I started Sunday. Cut it off. We tried to finish it Monday. Cut it off. I said, bitch, we gotta finish it Tuesday. <laughs> so I finished it today. And I have a couple notes about the episode, baby. I'm just tired. I have been held hostage to this show since probably about March. If not March, I know for sure May. <laughs> if not March, I know for sure May. So I've been held hostage to this damn show for months. And I, it's not, girl, it's not getting better. It's 50 million bitches. We got replacements coming in to replace who on the last two episodes. It's a lot going on. And I'm just, I'm losing touch with the show. I feel like next season, it needs to be condemned to a lot less cities and a lot less girls. <laughs> but with that being said, let's roll the intro. Let's go ahead and get this episode review over, child. Now, this episode does open up with an argument with Anna. I can't even remember who she was arguing with. In the middle of the argument, Natalie is swearing and declaring that everybody is done. She said, we're done. We're done. <laughs> we're done. We're done. Natalie's tired. Natalie's trying to get to the club, the hookah lounge, a couple of Cosmico shots, a lunch. She's got a bad, bad fucking shot clock. Some dinner. <laughs> She's trying to get past all this beef. Like, who are you, girl? We don't even fucking know you. That's your you fucking know friend. I now, it's about 15 minutes of rambling going on, okay? It's so 15 minutes of nonsense, but they skip to the scene. Well, let's skip to, not they, we gonna skip, okay? We gonna skip to the scene of the replacements heading into the house. Now, as the replacements are talking about, you know, coming into the house, they're collectively chatting with each other and they're just talking about who's left the house and which girl this and which girl that. I'm just thinking, how are y'all not embarrassed? I know me, if I was dragged along like that the whole entire show and then Zeus finally offers me the opportunity to enter the house and it's only a episode or two left, bitch, fuck y'all. Thank y'all for the check though. <laughs> I was talking to Tessiki and I got approached by Tinkabella. We scrapped or whatever, but why are we doing that? And I'm trying to explain myself. The ladies were calling me uh, aggressive. Now the next scene is Natalie, Roly, and 6ix9ine Takashi. They're all out smoking and chatting. They're talking about the fight that happened last episode. And of course, they end up talking about the replacement. She was expecting a fight out of me. She came with rings on me. Cause she was ready to fight. But after that, we have Scotty, Biggie, Bleachiana, and Meatball. They're doing the exact same thing. They're all catching up about the nonsense, the drama, and talking about the exact same topics that we heard Roly and 6 9 Takashi talking about. But it's not such a dull conversation because it does pick up a little bit because the tables turn and they point at Meatball. The, <laughs> the Bleachiana girl, the girl that bleaches her skin, she ends up calling out Meatball for being a weird individual throughout the whole entire season. And I'm just like, finally, child. Because every time they try to clock Meatball and call her out for something that she's doing weird, we have people like laughing about it and like hyping it up. I'm like, no, this shit is crazy. Like, call her the fuck out. <laughs> so we finally get to somebody calling her bitch ass out. So I'm set up, girl. I'm set up. I'm set up. I'm messy as fuck. I sit up. So Bleachiana is calling Meatball out for being weird, fake, and the conversation begins to burst into flames. I'm like, oh, here's me, here's me, gagging, girl. I'm gagging. Here's me, here's me, gagging. Enough of me sitting here. Like, at the end of the day, I'm going to tell you, and you already know because I mentioned it. I really don't give a fuck. I don't care. And I don't care. I don't. I know you don't. After Bleachiana ends up calling Meatball fake and weird, baby, Meatball rebuttals and she starts saying, bitch, you're a character. Bitch, you're a character. And all I can think is, baby, Meatball, the only bitch of character is you. Look at what you're wearing. You're a character, bitch. You're a cartoon character. You're a Disney character. You're a Nickelodeon character. You're an Adult Swim character. You're a Cartoon Network character. You're a TBS character. You're every character that I could ever find on my motherfucking TV. Like, dead ass. You're a character. So, ain't nobody a character but you. I don't know. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. When I seen Meatball was on the cast, I was advocating for her. I was rooting for her girl. I think we all were kind of rooting for her. We were rooting for her, but I won't throw it on y'all. I'll just keep it at eye. I was rooting for her. 
And it seems like every time I root for a bitch, they come and let me down their first season. I was rooting for Meatball. She's been such a letdown. This whole entire season, just let down, let down, let down, let down. I was rooting for Biggie on her first season. Because when I seen her at the auditions, I was like, oh my goodness, she's a sweet little girl. She's a sweet little baby, little, you know, little box booty. And then she got on the show and she was acting a fool with stun and just, I was like, <laughs> Damn, bitch, I'm rooting for you. So it seems like every time I'm rooting for a bitch, they come and smack me in my motherfucking face. So I ain't rooting for nobody else. I actually will skip over the auditions for the Midwest, Milwaukee, whatever the fuck season is coming next. I'm going to skip over the auditions. I don't even want to root for nobody. I just want to just get into the show. I don't even want to see the fucking cast. Like, I just get me to the show. Bleachiana and Meatball are literally in each other's face arguing so fucking long. Bitch, I watched the sun go down in slow motion. The argument is long and unacceptable. We have went from arguing about chains, jealousy, and now these bitches are talking about paid flights. I didn't even know these bitches go back like ass cracks. I didn't know. Maybe, maybe I ain't been paying attention. I didn't even know these bitches knew each other outside of the show. But, baby, they're in this heated argument and Bleachiana is telling me about, like, girl, you ain't never supported me. You ain't never did this. You ain't never did that. Well, do, do, do. What have you done for me? What have you done for me? And Meatball is kind of blinking, looking crazy. And then the conversation of the flight that Bleachiana bought Meatball to come all the way out to Florida comes up. Now, when this conversation of the flight comes up, Meatball said that you brought me all the way out here just to abandon me and da 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 I ain't do nothing huh? for you. I flew you out. Oh, that's fine. I flew you out. But where was you at when I was there? You was only supposed to come when I was there. To support me. I don't know what that's about, but I would like to speak on it. If you, ooh, I almost dropped my phone. If Meatball was brought all the way out to Florida, I think, by Bleachiana, and Bleachiana got her there, and completely ignore her existence, girl, what the fuck was that about? Also, Meatball, why were you out there without a rat scent. Ugh, girl, if you got a key, at least you at least have a, about a hundred dollars or something. Let me let me tell you something. If you ain't got no money for the room, at least have money for the damn bus ticket back. <laughs> at least have money for the bus ticket back, okay, bitch? At least so you get the fuck out of there. At least have some money for a bus ticket. Now you might not want to sit on that bus, but baby, you got to do something. You got to do something. But in all honesty, this argument was so past baddies. You can tell that it's deep rooted. It's some shit that's been going on for months or even years. I don't know how long they've known each other before the show. But this argument was very deep rooted, girl. They need not camera time. They need a chair time. They need to be sitting in the motherfucking therapy chair. Okay, they don't need no camera time because these bitches are hot ass mess. Now, in this conversation, something is brought up about support. Like I said, um, Bleachiana is making it a big, big thing and making it seem like Meatball has never ever supported her. Which I don't know. I'm, I'm I don't know. I'm just watching the show. So when <laughs> when Bleachiana brings it up once again, like you've never supported me, Meatball rebuttals and she said, "Bitch, you ain't got shit to support." Or how I supposed to support a bitch that ain't got shit? She said something nasty and rude. Okay, it was so nasty and so rude. It was so nasty and so rude. Okay, and baby, when I tell you, Bleachy on the flip that motherfucking table, you could have thought she was table shit or and whatever the bitch name. What's her name? Um um. What's the bitch name? That's why the fight was on three days. How the fuck am I supposed to support nobody when I ain't got shit? Hello? You really, really just like try to disrespect me. Bitch could have knocked every mockery off the table, but she flipped that motherfucker table upside down. I said, girl, damn, is it a cheap table? Or did you put your all into that? I want to know. Somebody said me, was that was that table heavy? Cause that bitch flipped that motherfucker table and it was all the road. I said, yes, bitch, get it. Because who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you to tell me I don't have anything to support? I don't have anything when bitch I brought you out here. I don't give a fuck if I brought you to a house with a cardboard box and two roads. Bitch. <laughs> like, bitch, at least I had something that you didn't. At least I had my cardboard box and two roaches. <laughs> These bitches are a mess. All of them. Both of them. They're a mess. This argument is deep-rooted. And like I said, they don't need camera time. They need chair time. They need to be in the fucking therapy chair. Talking this shit out. Now, um, after that, baby, like I said, the argument is a bunch of nothing. Um, so the argument is kind of like divided and the girls are broken up because they're in each other's face. They're out of each other's face, but they they don't want to fight because they have this unspoken sisterhood that I'm just finding out about. Okay, but moving on. Okay, the replacements finally arrive. Now, as these bitches arrive, it is going to fuck down because Anna storms out of her room and she says, you know, we don't have no beds. We don't have no beds. There's no room for y'all. <laughs> 
<laughs> She's swearing and declaring they ain't got no motherfucking beds. Okay, so girl, the replacements is talking about, you know, they'll sleep anywhere, baby. Ooh, I said, oh no, you won't, will you? <laughs> no, you won't, will you, baby? One bitch said she gonna get down in the pool and sleep. I said, damn, y'all that itching to be in the house for two episodes? How, how long are y'all gonna be in the house? A day and a half. Like, damn, y'all itching to get in the house. Itchy, itchy, y'all, y'all itchy. I said, God damn, but uh, the girl, they want to be in the house. But Anna is saying, you know, ain't no, ain't no house, bitch. I really don't know why Nunu thinks she's going to be sleeping here. There's no fucking rooms available, bro. Now, the conversation ends up moving from the hallway to over in the bar. Now, when uh, when they got in the bar, that's when shit spiced up a bit. Okay, because I felt like a playful but serious energy at first. But in the bar, it was getting serious, bitch. It was getting serious. I guess these bitches had got a couple shots in. And it was time to knock if you buck. So, as Anna is still swearing in the clearing to Miss Nunu, there ain't no new beds for her. She tell her, ain't no new space. Ain't no new nothing, bitch. And she's telling her she gotta go. I don't know where she's about to send Nunu. But Anna is swearing in the clearing that she has to go. Now, this argument ends up being blown out of proportion where everybody has that thing peace. And even Diamond the Body jumps into the conversation. I forgot she was there, child. I forget bitches are dead until they start using their mic. Like, this is, this is, this is crazy. But, girl, Anna is their arguing. Diamond is their arguing. I'm tired. <laughs> now, as this argument is getting bigger and bigger, girl, the room is getting filled with smoke and puffs, bitch, because Roly smoking and she watching, Natalie smoking, she watching. We got a security guard smoking and watching. What, what is the security doing smoking and watching? Sitting in this, bitch. Yeah, that's why we all we all on this There's side. already beef before we got here. And y'all was seeing y'all was coming in the house. And y'all was seeing y'all was coming in the house. Do your fucking job. But girl, everybody's smoking and watching. So Nelly ends up saying, you know, we're gonna move this over into the living room because Nelly needs a seat. Okay, she needs a seat. She wants everybody to sit and talk. No, she just wants to sit down. Nelly says we're gonna move, <laughs> we're gonna move this to the living room. So when we go to the living room, some type of way dime in the body, she gets tagged into the beef. Tag, I'm it. Let's go. Now, as soon as, you know, Diamond Body gets into tagging, honey, it is time to rumble. So, her and Nunu start fighting. Now, as I'm watching this fight, I'm kind of speechless because Nunu is getting her, get a new ass whooping, okay? She's getting a new ass whooping. And I didn't know that Nunu accepted ass whoopings because a couple episodes ago, a couple months, years, centuries ago, Nunu had fought somebody. Was it Miss Ain't No Fighter? I told you, it ain't no fighter. Is it, you know, <laughs> was it ain't no fighter? She fought somebody. Nunu fought somebody and handed her a new fucking ass. So I was, you know, I was like, okay, Nunu is somebody you need to watch out for. But Diamond snatched her new asshole this episode. She said, I'm gonna slash the ass, cut another hole in your ass. And that's what she did. She cut another hole in that bitch ass. And I was like, damn, get her. Tag it! Get her, Diamond! Get her, Diamond! Now, as Diamond, you know, is pulled off of the bitch, they're separating, and Diamond goes to hype herself up. She's hyping herself up with Anna. And girl, as she's getting hyped up with Anna, Nunu just snuck over and kicked the bitch down. I said, damn. She laid out on the floor like a roach. As quick as your success story started, as quick as it ended. Like, I, like we can't even celebrate you winning the fight no more because you you on the ground like a roach. Like, this bitch kicked you over. Like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> When Nunu did run up and sneak Diamond from the back, baby, Biggie did run up and stand on business. Biggie snatched her fucking wig. She punched her once, then she snuck her ass again. Biggie was on business, okay? She was standing on business, bitch. She was standing on business. But once Biggie gets involved, he gets involved. Now it's a girl, it's a menage de trois, bitch. Every bitch that got two arms is in this motherfucking fight. And I am tired. I'm tired. I just don't know what to say, baby. I'm tired. So I'm watching, okay? So now it is time for um, Miss Eva to fight. Now, child, as Eva jumps into the fight, um, she wants to fight Diamond. She wants to fight Diamond. And as they're, you know, knocking and bucking, they're about to fight, right? Okay, they're about to fight. All I hear is. <laughs> All I hear is Anna, Biggie, get in that, Biggie, Biggie, get in that. Don't let her fight by herself. Don't let her fight by herself. No, 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 Biggie, don't let her fight by herself. Biggie, run up on her right now. Run up on her right now. Don't let Diamond fight by herself. Biggie, run. Okay, Keith. <laughs> now, as Anna is back here trying to get Biggie to jump into this motherfucking fight, baby, these hoes are actually fighting. Now, it's a, it's a pretty even, it's a fair fight. It's a fair fight. I'm going to be honest. Eve looked like she was about to, almost. She was not just quite there just yet. But, baby, she looked like she was about to. Get the best of diamond but before she could get the best of diamond baby them hoes fell on the couch and here go motherfucking anna she in there i said girl and then somebody popped you in your face knocked that eyeball to back <laughs> knocked that eyeball backwards bitch you been fucking mad yeah. Come on, diamond. Take your fucking 
This was just a ghetto girl. That is my review for this episode. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm hopefully I get it to the people. <laughs> hopefully I get this review to the people. All right, and the other one too. The other one ain't gonna have no clips. I put clips in this review, but the other one, bitch, I'm just gonna edit and put it out. But I love y'all so much. Be safe, and I'll definitely see y'all in a different video.